Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Tonight I'm out in the fuel shed, as you can see, and uh, we need to get some fuel in the Tahoe. So I'm going to do it my old way with uh, jugs. So you might be wondering why I'm doing that. Um, I want to start slow in this, just like uh, I tell everybody else to. I haven't ran oil in this thing in a bit, and I'm on a single tank system, which I don't really care for. That's going to change soon. But for now, this is how we're gonna do it. We've got a 20 liter or a little more than five gallon container and uh, we're gonna fill it up and uh, dump it in the tank. Tank's about a quarter tank low, so uh, we should be around 20-ish percent with this container here. So let's get at it. We're about a quarter tank down. About a full tank now probably put a little more in it i'm not going to that should be around 20 ish percent in the tank total because uh the tank on this truck is 26 gallon so five gallon ish should put us around 20 percent thereabouts so we'll uh run it for the week and uh see how it goes So a little update on the uh, Tahoe running on oil. Uh, starting good, uh, no issues. We're two weeks in right now, uh, probably running close to 30%, but I'm getting a substantial amount of idle haze and I still haven't figured out why or what I'm gonna do to fix it. But uh, yeah, it's cold and uh, starts right up. No stumbles, no misses, no struggling to start, but and this is a problem even when it's cold. Let's see if I can uh, get in the light here. It's just a continuous haze out the exhaust. So, uh, 
yeah not sure what I'm gonna do to correct it I've heard of several people that are running oil in uh, in the 12 valve and similar engines that have the same problem runs good and uh, doesn't lose power or anything like that but uh, hazes substantially so I don't know I think I might throw a little more timing at it but uh, we'll uh, we'll do some more videos on that as I uh, as I try to figure out how to correct it the injectors in this thing are original they've got over a hundred thousand miles on them so uh, it may just be due for injectors but uh, yeah I may go on and pull them and clean them off and pop them back in see if it corrects it it probably will but I don't think it'll last now this thing's got water meth on it as well with a fairly small nozzle like a four gallon nozzle uh, and I, I do run the thing pretty hard I haven't been making short trips I did run into a thing where we were out shooting some drone video last week and I let the thing idle a lot and that may be the cause of my problem but I'm not sure I've pretty I've flogged it pretty good since then and uh, yeah still haze but uh, I don't know I'll keep you uh, keep you all updated it's gonna be a short video uh, but like I said it's running fine single tank setup for now I do have a second tank mounted in this thing right up there it is a 20 either a 20 or 26 gallon aluminum fuel cell but I don't have it plumbed so I'm gonna be doing that here in the near future I believe if uh, if time allows we'll see but uh, yeah I'm gonna wrap this one up here short simple it's running it runs good no complaints there no power loss no EGT changes uh, running at 30% I've got my price per gallon of fuel down to under that of gasoline and I'm getting 20 plus mile a gallon out of this 7400 pound pig so can't complain there but anyways if you want to support the channel there's a PayPal account set up link to that is in the video description we've got super thanks enabled as well you can go that route if you want if you would hit that like button it helps us out a lot and it doesn't cost you anything if you've uh, got any comments questions complaints drop them in the comment section below I try to answer them as quick as I can but uh, yeah if you haven't already please subscribe we appreciate you watching